is a representative. Malaika Mungu ni anawakilisha. Is a messenger. Ni mjumbe. Whenever he visits somewhere. Wakati wote anapotembelea mahali. Just a mere messenger have been sent. Tu ujumbe fulani umetumwa. God is not there. Mungu hayuko pale. But whenever you hear. Wakati unasikia. The angel of the Lord appeared in the house. Malaika wa Bwana alionekana kwa nyumba. It is the presence of God himself. Ni uwepo wa Mungu mwenyewe. When you are anointed. You are protected of God. The anointing is a symbol of protection. It's a spiritual covering. That protects your life wherever you go. Because you are anointed. Some people will get an accident. But you will come out from that accident alive. Because you are anointed. People will break their marriages. But your own marriage will continue to serve forever. Out. Uh, try again. Oh. Jesus is Lord. Good. <laughs> he has done marvelous. Mwangalie mtu mwambie ametenda majabu. Ametenda majabu. Hmm? Mwangalie mtu mwambie amefanya ili, amefanya lile. <laughs> mwambie mtu amefanya hili na akafanya lile. <laughs> Kwa hivyo Kwa hivyo sasa akiwa amenipa china, nifanye nini? Ninafanya nini? Ninafanya nini kanisa? Karo, amekupa china. Sasa unafanya nini? Unamshukuru. Haya. Twende. Let's put our hands together. Oh, 
Mwambie sikujua kwamba nitaheshimika hivi. Sikujua kwamba nitajibiwa hivi. I didn't know that he would answer me like this. I didn't know he would favor me like this. Oh God, we worship you. Give us the number. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I didn't know you favor me this way. I didn't know you favor me this way. I didn't know you favor me this way. Favor me this way. Thank you, Jesus. I didn't know you honor me this way. I didn't know honor me this way. I didn't
Funguka funguka mwaga moyo wako mbele za Bwana. Mwachie nafasi ya rekebisha maisha yako. Wacha Mungu arekebishe nyumba yako. Wacha Mungu arekebishe ndoa yako. Wacha Mungu ausike na maswala ya mwanadamu. Raba baba baba baba. Have your way. Jesus. Jesus. Shanda la baribu kanta la bariando. Refresh your people, refresh your people. Energize your people, empower your people. Revive your people. Touch somebody here. Heal somebody, deliver somebody. Set somebody free. By the authority in the word of God. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Anoint somebody in the name that is above every other name. Shanda la bariando. Lord, I'm thirsty. Lord, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty, Lord. I'm thirsty. Father, I'm hungry for you. I'm hungry for you. Feel us again. Feel us again. Shall I be content? Oh, 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 hallelujah. Open King of Glory, the Lord God Almighty, King of Glory. Hey. We need you, we need you. Oh, we worship you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus.
life. We surrender our mind, our soul, our spirit to you. We dedicate our body to you. Do with us as you will, O God. You are our Lord. More of you in our life. More of your power. More of your spirit. Touch every man and every woman that came in in the house to worship you, Lord. Pray, Lord, that your power will avail to every one of us. Touch every need, every, every individual at the point of their need. Based on the level of their faith, oh God. Move in our midst. Frustrate the enemies. And bring glory to your holy name. We worship you, Jesus. Jesus. We love you, Lord. Lord, use your people. Muni to me, kama vilo pendavio. Wala ni to me, kama chobot. Kama to me, shiwa koni to me. Katika hekshima. Kwa kisazi changu ni to me. Ngalau mtu apate ya man. Kuna mama hapa mekuja na kutafuta. Yuko mzea na njaa kwa jili yako. Unapo pita mombasa. Ukiokoa na kuponya. Uziza hao madhabau haya. Tumishi wako ni meanda kwa jili yako. Ukazuru utu wako. Patia heshima. Kila mmoja liengia. Wacha watu wako wasirudi vile walivyo kuja. Mtakatifu jitukuze. We worship you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, you are our Lord. Help us touch every heart. Those that are sick, heal them. Deliver them. Set the captive free. Revive our hope in God. Oh Jesus, we give ourselves to you. We give our heart. Use us, O oh Lord, as vessels of honor, as you will. Oh. Lord, I worship you. I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. Lord, I give myself away so you can use me.
Hallelujah. Somebody give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Hallelujah. 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 of glory we honor you again in the name of Jesus we worship and let somebody say amen, amen. hallelujah amen. Oh. Hallelujah. thank you Lord look at, look at somebody and, and give me a high five and tell them I love you by force Thank you, praise and worship. You may be seated in the praises of God. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to and the safety is granted. And I want to thank God uh, today again. I feel the praises of God in the house. I don't know how you feel. As for me in my house, we will serve the Lord. I feel the Lord is here. Is here to bless you. Is here to speak to you. And to empower you again. It's a new day. I say it's a new day. You, you are all welcome. In the name of Jesus. Here is a kingdom champion ministry. We are believing God for championship in the ministry. We thank God for you being part of us today. And it's my prayer that you will be blessed. Amen. Amina. Can I hear somebody shout amen? So you are all welcome. Let us have a study of the word of God a little bit. It's going to be a blessing to us. We are having a wonderful precious time now in our lifetime. Where the Lord is so closer to his people. If you read the book of Samuel, there is a place where the Bible says the princess of the Lord or the, the word of the Lord was rare to be found. Even the prophetic books, the Bible says that there will come a time when people will be hungry for the word of God. Famine of the word of God will hit everywhere. And prophetically it says people will hang around looking for the word. Because it will be rare to be found. But thank God today the word is near to you. And the word 
is in your mouth and the word is planted in your heart may we all appreciate the Lord for that that God is so closer to his people now Ya kwamba Mungu yu karibu na watu wake sasa and is doing marvelous na anatenda majabu and he will do marvelous to you too na atatenda majabu kwako and you shall glorify his name na utatukuza jina lake somebody shout amen mtu pasa sauti useme amina before i speak the word ah uh, kabla ni nene neno I have some international testimonies here niko na ushuhuda wa kimataifa hapa we have people all over in different countries. Like I uh, have a channel that uh, a lot of almost 120 countries are watching. From those countries. And many things are happening in their life. Na vitu vingi ama mambo mengi anatendeka katika maisha yao. As they watch my videos teaching on the channel Global Solution for All Mankind. Wanapotazama mafundisho yangu katika kituo hicho cha Global Solution for All Mankind. So that which I am doing. Ah kila ambacho ninakifanya and I bring a smile in a face of somebody. Na ninaleta tapasamu kwa uso wa mtu I should keep on doing it Ninastahili kuendelea kukifanya That which I can do Kile ambacho ninaweza kufanya and bring a quarreling marriage together and people begin to laugh again Na nisababishe ndoa ambayo walikuwa na kugombana niwalete pamoja I shall continue doing the same. If somebody has been looking for a job for five years, and by God's grace, I teach something and the person follow it, and now he get a job. To me, by the grace of God, the person has get a solution. I have solved somebody's case. And because of that, I will continue doing the same. And no devil can stop me again to do it. Because no man by his own power can do that. It is when God has granted to use you. That is why every Sunday you will never fail to hear me singing a song about dedicating yourself, allowing God to use you. Allow God to use you in your generation. This is your time. Wake up in the morning and look at something you can do. That can be a solution to somebody else. Look at what you can do in the life of somebody. To contribute their life to betterness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is why we are here as Christians. To bring answers to other people. We should become a solution to one another. We should be people that remove obstacles from one another. And give access for people to succeed in life. Contribute a smile in the face of somebody. Let a husband and a wife laugh the whole night. If they have been crying, God will glorify Himself in your life. So that is what is taking place in the different countries. Through this ministry, we have a man from Nigeria. 
He says, thank you so much for your ministry and respect. Your teaching has protected me against the gang. Arm robbers came and submitted the gang. When they, they, they came to hit him. So they released the gun three times. And the man didn't die. And they didn't injure the man. A gang was not functioning. And therefore they surrendered the gun. They perceived this is not a normal person. And they ran away. What did he do? He used my teaching of Ageta Pepe. Alitumia mafundisho yangu ya alligator pepe and Peter Cola. Na Peter Cola. And the gun was not able to heal to finish him. Na bunduki haingeweza kumaliza. I want you to give God glory. Ninataka umpatie Bwana utukufu. If I get a pepe. Kama alligator pepe and Peter Cola. Na Peter Cola. God can use it to protect you against robbers. Mungu anaweza itumia kukulinda kutokana na mayabasi. robbers. Ah, majamba that is a God's glory. It is a work of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a teaching I put on YouTube. Another man is a through the teaching of the elements, I am able to identify my my signs now. Ah, mtu mwingine anasema kupitia kwa mafundisho ya vipengele nimeweza kujijua mimi mwenyewe. I did exactly about the sun and agata pepe to recover my stolen TV. Honestly, this works like magic. I was able to recover my stolen TV. Ah, niliweza kutumia aligeta pepe pamoja na mchanga na nikaregesha runinga yangu ambayo ilikuwa imeibiwa. A TV was stolen from the person. Runinga yake ilikuwa imeibiwa kutoka kwa huyo mtu. And he followed my teaching on using the same aligeta pepe. Na akafuata mafundisho yangu ukitumia aligeta pepe. And the sand prayer. Ah, na mchanga maombi. You remember what I told you? Unakumbuka kile niliwambia? If somebody come in your compound. Mtu iwapo atakuja kwa compound and take away this speaker. Na achukue hii 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 speaker. Or in your house. Ama kwa nyumba yako. And after you discover somebody has taken it. Na baada ya kugundua kwamba mtu amechukua. You don't mess up with the person, the place. Ah, usiguseguze hapo mahali. Do not sweep the place. Usifagie hapo mahali. Okay? Sawa. Collect the sand or the soil from that place. Chukua mchanga kutoka pale mpale mahali penye kulikuwa na hicho chombo. And pray before God. Na uombe mbele za Mungu. Anyone that took it from here. Yeyote mwenye amekichukua kutoka hapa. From the four corners of the earth. Kutoka maeneo nne ya ulimwengu. Let them return within so 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 period. Wacha warudishe kwa muda fulani ambao wewe utapea. By the authority in the name of Jesus. Kwa mamlaka iliyoko katika jina la Yesu. And you you do that and then you throw in the air. It, 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 it will bring by God's grace through the ash releasing of your faith. That person will come back and bring it there. It has happened to many people. And if you follow it with faith in God, it will happen to you. This person did it. And the person returned the TV. Another woman from Switzerland, her name is Magneta. She has a problem of stolen, uh, what was stolen? Stolen? Uh, people entered and stole her property. Then the property was found one day after she did a, pre a, a prayer following the channel. Now another one on Instagram. He said he won the case. 
Anasema alishinda kesi. He won the case in the court of law. Alishinda kesi makamani. When he followed the correct teaching on the YouTube channel. Alipofuatilia mafundisho yangu kwa YouTube. Everything that I said on YouTube about the court case. Chochote kile ambacho niliongea kuhusu kesi iliyoko mahakamani. He followed. Alifuatilia. And then the judge and all the, they backed up her point. Na yule mwenye kukumu akasimama naye. And they judged they ruled on her favor. Na akimu akaweza ku akaweza kupitisha hiyo kesi kwa kwa upande wake. It is not just the mayor doing. Ah uh, si ile tu ile tu haikufanya uh, kitu. It is the work of God. Ni kazi ya Mungu. The Lord gave her favor and she won the case. Bwana akampatia kibali na akashinda hiyo kesi. It's not just because of teaching. Si kwa sababu ya mafundisho tu. Because if you follow teaching without faith. Maana ukifuata mafundisho pasipokuwa na imani. It will not work for you. Haitakutendekea kazi. Anything you do before God. Chochote ukifanyajo mbele za Mungu. Do it by faith. Fanya kwa imani. The Bible says inasema, without faith no man can please God. Bila imani hakuna yeyote mwenye anaweza mpendeza so Mungu. If anything you are doing towards God. Chochote ukifanyacho kumwelekea Mungu. It should be demonstrated by faith. Ni lazima itendwe kwa imani. You take a step by faith. Unachukua hatua kwa imani. These are testimonies. Hii ni ushuhuda. A few of them there are so many. Ni chache tu ni nyingi mno. That people have done through the teaching on the line. Amba kwa watu wamefanya kupitia kwa mafundisho kupitia kwa runinga and we see the result in their life na tunaona matokeo katika maisha yao so many of them are sending money to me wengi wao wananitumia pesa because of what is happening kwa sababu ya kile kinatendeka another person has established an account mtu mwingine amefungua account he said this account I'll be saving money anasema account hii nitakuwa nikiweka pesa the man is from canada a mtu huyo anatoka canada he had a problem to marry ali wana shida ya kuoa oh girls are running away from him bindi wote walikuwa wanamtoroka they say his face is like a bush wanasema uso wake unakaa kama kichaka even if you look at the picture hata ukiangalia picha yake he doesn't look good though akai vizuri apendezi but all his struggle ah lakini na kungangana kwake kote even in the company he was sacked hata katika kampuni yeye alikuwa anafanya kazi alifutwa kazi Be because even though his working performance is good hata hata kama kazi yake ni nzuri but they say he smell wanasema ananuka he has udo a certain smell ana harufu mbaya he try everything he didn't forget succeed in everything alijaribu kila kitu lakini hakuweza so the moment he landed on my teaching on my channel apude tu alipopata mafundisho yangu he practiced it and it worked for him akatenda kazi na ikamtendekea as i'm talking to you he is already employed again vile ninavyokuongelesha tayari amepata kazi and he is now employed in a better place than where he was na sasa ameajiriwa mali pazuri kuliko kule alikuwa he has opened an account amefungua account he said i'll be saving 1000 dollars every month anasema nitakuwa ninatuma nitakuwa ninaweka dola moja kila mwezi i'll be saving 1000 dollars every Nita, month nitakuwa ninaweka dola 1000 kila mwezi and this 1000 dollars na dola hii 1000 i'll be doing that and mobilize my friends nitakuwa nikifanya hivyo nikikusanya marafiki zangu i want them to put money here ninataka waweke pesa katika hiyo account we want to make sure that you have an international station of television in kenya tunataka tufanye bidia kwamba uwe na runinga kule kenya ambayo ni yako this vision of having a tv is not mine maono hii ya kuwa na runinga kituo si yangu but different people all over different countries watu wengi katika mataifa mbalimbali when they land on my teachings wanapokutana na mafundisho yangu they put value on it wanaweka uzito ama udhamana juu yake they see the need of this teaching to go viral in different countries in different Wa places wanaona hitaji la mafundisho haya kuenea katika ulimwengu mataifa mbalimbali so they begin to involve themselves on what they can do wanaanza kujihusisha na kile chenye wanaweza fanya to make my platform become international platform ah uh, kufanya 
kituo changu kifanyike cha kimataifa. So I am praying that God will enable them. Hivyo ninaomba kwamba Bwana awawezeshe. This is happening in different countries. Hii inatendeka katika mataifa mbalimbali. People that are following me in those countries. Watu ambao wananifuata katika mataifa haya. Testimony are taking place in their lives. Au shinda umetendeka katika maisha yao. Now I am just announcing this few. Ah ninatangaza tu hizi chache. But there are so many. Lakini ni nyingi mno. The God who is doing for them. Mungu ambaye anawatendea. He will do it for you too. Atakutendea na wewe pia. I said the God who is answering them. Nasema Mungu ambaye anawajibu. He will answer you too. Atakujibu na wewe pia. He's not a God of a certain people. Si Mungu wa watu fulani. He's a God of all people. Ni Mungu wa watu wote. Anywhere in any place you are. Yote mahali popote ulipo. If you search and look for him. Ukimtafuta na kumpata. He's available for you. Anapatikana kwa ajili yako. Somebody shout hallelujah. Mtu sema hallelujah. We serve a great God. Ah, tunamtumikia Mungu mkuu. We serve a mighty God. Tunamtumikia Mungu aliye mkuu. We serve a living God. Tunamtumikia Mungu aliye hai. We serve self sufficient God. Tunamtumikia Mungu aliye na uwezo wote. A God who is able. Mungu ambaye anaweza. A God who can do all things. Mungu ambaye anaweza kutenda mambo yote. And God is not far from where you are. Na Mungu hayuko mbali kutoka pale ulipo. Every human being that is walking around. Mwanadamu yeyote ambaye anatembea hapa na pale. He breathes in and out because he is in God. Anavuta pumzi ndani nje kwa sababu anaye Mungu. Every human being of God. Mwanadamu yeyote ambaye ni wa Mungu. They carry God. Wanambeba Mungu. The spirit that gives a man the breath of life. Nafsi ambayo inapatiana mwanadamu It's the spirit of God. And it's the eyes of the Lord inside the first life of the person. So everybody has God. Don't think that you will go somewhere to find God. God is available to where you are. Okay, we read many times that he lives in heaven. But before he created heaven, where was God living? The Bible says in the beginning God created heavens and earth. So before God created heaven and earth, where was he living? The Bible says he's omniscient. Biblia inasema kwamba yeye yupo anapatikana. I say he's omniscient. Yuko wakati wote ama anapatikana mahali popote. No. He is all knowing. Yeye anatambua mambo yote. Yeah. Omniscient. Anatambua mambo yote. He knows everything. Anajua mambo yote. Everything he knows. Kila kitu anakitambua. That which you know and you think he has not seen it and you think he cannot answer you in fact the answer of your prayer has been already granted before you started praying that's a God we serve he knows your thoughts Anajua mawazo yako. He sees every tears. Anaona kila machozi. Every need that you have. Kila hitaji ulilonalo. God is aware. Mungu anajua. And he's available ready to help somebody here. Na anapatikana tayari kusaidia mtu hapa. So you don't have to worry. Hivyo usiwe na wasiwasi. The problem we have we have a spirit of religiosity. Shida tuliyo nayo tuna roho ya kidini. Do not put God in a certain basket. Usiweke Mungu kwa don't put God in a certain limit. He is omnipotent. He's all powerful. And he can do everything, anything, anyhow. God can do anything. Mungu anaweza fanya chochote. Anybody. Anyhow. The Bible says. He will raise up. And he brings down. So I see people coming down. 
by the hand of God and they say it is the devil no God can bring you down and God can set you up that's a God we serve don't think that when you are going down it's always the devil no sometimes God brings you down and the reason why he brings you down is because he loves you that's why he may bring you down do you know there are people that die because God loves them <laughs> yeah you don't think ah Death is Satan or Satan is the killing people. God does not kill people. Mungu aui watu. There are people that die. Kuna watu and, and, and God bring them down. Mungu chini. Because he loves them. Kwa sababu anawapenda. There is a scripture that says. Ah, kuna ujumbe wa mandiku wapo inasema. People die because of their holiness you can be poor righteous and holy before God and because of that you die before your time so there are people that live long because of their wickedness it's a bible you believe so we should not put God in a certain uh, uh, frame him that if God will do this, he has to use this way. The God I want you people to, to work with is a God that is with you anywhere you are, wherever you go, and whatever you do, God is there. Everybody that received Jesus, you should believe that God is available to you. You are a child of God. You don't have to worry about it. You serve a God who is all, all sufficient. Yeah, all sufficient. He says, I, I, I am I am. He said, My name is I am. He said, I am who I am. Uh, I am who I am. Ah, uh, From the past, the people used to ask him, "What is your name?" Kwanzia kitamba ma ka watu alikuwa na muliza jina lako nani? He said, "My name is I am." Anasema jina langu mimi ndi. I am who I am. Ah, mimi ndi. Moses said, "Hey, sir." Musa limuliza hey buana. If I go, nikienda. Pharaoh will want to know what is your name. Pharaoh atataka kujua jina lako nani? He said, go and tell Pharaoh. Let my people go. Eh? Eh? If he say, what is your name? Tell him, I am. Mambie, mimi ndiye. Has sent me to you. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I am. Mutu sema, mimi ndiye. What do you think if you say, I am? Where is God? Unafikiriaje unaposema mimi ndiye Mungu ni nani? Huh? Tell them I am I send me to you. Ah, uh, mwambie mimi ndiye amenituma. Ladies and gentlemen, wanawake na wanaume, the same apply to Jesus. Hiyo pia uh, inamwendea Yesu pia. He argued the Jews. Ah, uh, alikuwa na mabishano na wa Wayahudi about the Abraham. Ah, uh, kuhusu Ibrahim. He said before Abraham Akasema kabla Ibrahimu I am nilikuwa and people took stone to watu akachukua mawe kutaka kumpiga you know he is a crazy man unajua wakati mwingine yeye ni kichaa Abraham died long time ago Ibrahim alikufa kitambo and you are born just recently wewe mtu wa juzi tu jana how can you say you saw Abraham? He said before Abraham. Anasema kamla Ibrahimu. I am. Mimi ndiye. 
Hallelujah. We are serving God who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all. Tunamtumikia Mungu ambaye anaweza kufanya mambo yote. Everyone that came today. Ya yote yule ambaye alikuja leo. And you have any case carrying on your shoulder. Na una kesi yoyote ambayo yuko kwa mabega yako. Anything you are carrying on your head. Chochote ambacho unabeba kwa kichwa chako. You don't know what to do. Ujui cha kufanya. Put it here and go free. Weka hapa na uende huru. Because the Lord is here. Manake Bwana yuko hapa. To receive every heavy burden here. And give you a light, light burden. Just to love the Lord and love his people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. He says, and God is able to make all grace. Anasema kwa mbana mungu anaweza kwa chilia nema yote. Now let me read the Amplified Bible. Awacha nisome kwa bibile yangu ambayo mechua. God is able to make all grace. Mungu anaweza kufanya nema yote. Meaning every favor. Enamanisha kibali chote. On the earthly blessings. Kwa baraka za ardhi. To come to you abundantly. Kwa kuja kwako kwa wingi. So that you may always always have complete sufficiency in everything you see I have no video he says and have an abundance for every good work an act of charity na ana wingi wakila matendo mema kwa kwa ubinadamu somebody say God is able Mutu sema mungu anaweza Ok, let's go deeper Say Jesus is able Sema Yesu anaweza Because if you mention the name Jesus Manake ukitaja jina Yesu Something good is going to happen now Kitu kutema kinaenda kukutendekea Somebody shout Jesus is able Basa sauti sema Yesu anaweza some people say we were worshiping Jesus. Watu wengine wanasema tulikuwa tunamwabudu Yesu. That we are not supposed to worship Jesus. Atustahili kumwabudu Yesu. We are worshipers of Jesus oh. Sisi tunamwabudu Yesu. We don't have any other god. Hatuna Mungu mwingine yeyote. The god we serve. Mungu tunayemwabudu. Now his name is Jesus. Jina lake Yesu. Let us sing his songs. Wacha tuimbe nyimbo zake. Jesus is a mighty God. 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 Now I want to talk to you about the meaning of the word mighty. Nataka kukongelesha na maane ya neno hili mkuu. The word mighty means the one who possess all powers. Neno mkuu inamanisha yule anamiliki nguvu zote. Mighty in this biblical term. Mkuu katika nugwe ya kibibilia. It means the one who has all powers. Inamana yule ambaye ananguvu zote. He possess all powers. Anamiliki nguvu zote. He is omnipotent. Anapatia. And that is in biblically is a type, a title that is given to Jehovah. In Hebrew, katika Ibrania, is called El Shaddai. Ah, anaitwa El Shaddai. It means the mighty. Ina maana mkuu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It means the mighty. Ina maana shamku. El Shaddai. El Shaddai. The mighty. Ah, mku. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It means God who is all powerful. Ah, uh, inamanisha Mungu ambaye ana nguvu zote. The God who is able to do all things. Mungu ambaye anaweza kufanya mambo yote. So the God we serve. Mungu tunayemtumikia. Is a mighty God. Ni Mungu mkuu. And it's a God who is able to do all things. Ni Mungu ambaye anaweza kufanya mambo yote. Many things are happening negative here in Kenya. Mambo mengi ya kinyume yanatendeka hapa Kenya. But I tell you the truth. Lakini nakwambia if we raise up a standard of our faith God we serve can turn around the Kenyan economy and everything in the government can back up your point of Jehovah all government on 
Civil authorities are in the hand of Jehovah. When his people begin to call on his name. God will have no option. But to answer your prayers. He says in the book of Numbers. If my people who are called by my name. They shall humble themselves and forsake their sins and call on my name. The Lord say, I'll hear from heaven. I'll forgive their sins and I'll heal their land. The land of Kenya it need healing. Where things are going now. I am praying God to open the eyes of Christians. Those people that are really looking for God. We don't need to backbite around. Where we receive 2 million, 3 million and then we begin to compromise. Even the devil comes in the church. And we clap our hands. Praising them. Because of the few money that we have received. I pray in the name of Jesus. May God who is almighty. Deliver Kenyans. From the powers of darkness. The slavery that this country is running to. May God deliver Kenyan people. May God deliver Mombasa people. May God deliver your marriage. May the Lord deliver your family. May the Lord deliver your ministry. And set your finance free. By the authority of the name of Jesus. I thank God because the Bible says every knee shall bow. No matter who you are. No matter which power you possess. No matter what level of leadership. Every human being they have their nose facing down. We need to humble in this country. We should not play games with the life of people. And play games in politics in the life of people. God is really. And he speaks to some men. And there is nothing that can stop him. If God wants to do anything. And I pray that intervention that we need is heaven. Right now. I don't back any politician. I don't back Raila. I don't back the president. I only back Jesus. Because Jesus does not change. Jesus does not change. Men and women of God, trust in God. And God is going to help you. You will stay above your challenges. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. I say shout hallelujah. We serve a God who does not change. We have people that play games with the life of people. Today they say this. Tomorrow they say this. And the devil has a skimming language. The Bible calls him in the Genesis chapter 3. He called him a shrewd person. A cunning person. He was a cunning person. He has a lot of knowledge of deception. He called a cunning person. When you say this today, he create another revelation that you are going to deceive people tomorrow with it. I want to ask a politician. Listen to me. I want to ask a politician. Does the word politics mean deceive people? Answer 
Doctor me professors. Ah, nijibuni ma professor. Doctors and lawyers. Madaktari na wanasheria. The word politics. Neno hili siasa. What does it mean? Ina maana nini? Does it mean that we deceive people? Ina maanisha tuwadanganye watu. Manipulate people? Ah, tuwadanganye watu wapotosha watu. Play with the people's mind? Tujocheze na akili ya watu. And then step on their shoulder? Alafu tuwaweke chini ya nyao zetu. Step on their shoulder. Tusimame ama tukanyagie mabeka yao. And then pluck the fruits. Alafu una unavuna matunda. And eat. Pluck the fruits. Ah, uh, unavuna matunda wa ukila. The more we become heavier. Ah, uh, unapoendelea kwa mzito. As we are chopping every day. Tunapoendelea kula kila siku. We become heavier in kgs. Tunafanyika wazito katika kilo. And we are stepping on their shoulder. Na tumekanyaga juu ya mabega yao. They are becoming weak. Wanaendelea kwa wadhaifu. And we don't give them. Na sisi hatuwapi. We pluck the fruit we put in our mouth. Ni wewe tu kutunda na unaweka kinywa. Unatunda na unaweka. When it is full. Au unapojaza we now start putting in our pockets. And when it's full, we look around the people that are related to us. Are you Kamau? Take it. Are you Njuguna? Take it. Are you Kipchoge? Take it. Are you from uh, this place? Take it. Are you from Uda? Take it. Are you from Luo? No, no, no. That one, wait. That one is this politi politi where we finish Tukimaliza, we now come down nasa tunakuja chini. stepping on the people tunakuja, tuko, tunakanyaga juu ya watu. is this what we are called to do in Kenya? Hiyo ndio kufanya Kenya you mean we don't have an integrity man Una kwamba hatuna mtu mzuri. in Kenya here Hapa Kenya. even a preacher who can bring heaven to interfere to help Kenya. I pray that you become that person. May you be that person that God is about to use to bring intervention to serve this land in the name of Jesus. This is what is happening. But I want to give you hope. I spoke here on the first day of the year. On the first day of the month. I said this government. Is going to need a lot of prayer. If we are not going to put in more. To force everything go right with us. I'm telling you we are going to have a lot of time. A very hard time. May God deliver us. And go forgive our sins. Let us repent our sins. Sins of our life. Our land. To deprive the right of people. Use power to frustrate men. May God deliver us. We serve a God who is available. Are you listening to me? God is near to you. He's not so far. He sees everything. He knows everything. He's waiting for somebody who can call on his intervention. Because the Lord God will do nothing on earth except through a human being. Even their prophets. But if we have deprived the prophets, if we have taken one million and put in the mouth of the, the pocket of the prophet, every prophet will stand up and they will see something good about you. Whatever they will see, they will see something good. Your Excellency, you are doing well. Your Excellency, you have done so much to us. Your Excellency, uh, this is your government is doing fine, fine, fine. We need to intervene God. What the President is doing and his government and whatever your position are doing and their people we should put these people before Almighty. 
to interfere on their case. Because the way I see, honestly, I'm telling you as a preacher, I preach by revelation, I preach by knowledge, and I preach by experience. I've been around in the ministry now running to 30 years. This is not the church I start. I started recently this one here. I've been a preacher for long years now, many years. I am an international minister. But the grace of God has touched different countries. And I want to tell the Kenyan people let God come down and help us. I said, let God come down and help us. Let us raise our voice and ask help from heaven. Where our help will come from. Our help, help will come from Jehovah. To help the government. To help your position. We are the people that suffer down here. Only God. Let me put it right. Only Jesus. I say only Jesus. Who hear you without an appointment. Hallelujah. We serve all powerful God. God who can do anything who can create anything who can change anything who can build anything in your life he can turn you to become a billionaire anytime but not with the prayer but with his own knowledge and his supreme power if you seek God he will hear you God will help us. He said, if my people who are called by my name. The problem we have, we have people that are calling him, but they don't receive the title of his name. Are you called with the name of the Lord? Are you sure God calls you by his name? If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and turn away from their wickedness, these are the keys that will open up the heaven to come in. He said, I'll forgive their sins and I will heal their land. So the healing of this land, the healing of the land, every citizen of this country will now be in a better place when the motherland is healed by God hallelujah somebody hallelujah, so we serve a God who can do anything the God who can answer you the God who can change your life just continue to follow him continue to worship him continue to live for him you will never be put to shame nobody will ever follow Jesus and end up in shame I'm here to encourage you children of God you don't have to worry believe Jehovah he, he is the hope of the, the, the hopeless he is the hope of the hopeless hallelujah, hallelujah. so believe in him everything that you are going through in life he makes a door open for you he will answer your prayer in the midnight in the morning in the daytime he hears everything so carry your burden to him encourage yourself in him God is with you Isaiah 41 and verse 10 so when you are in trouble understand that God is with you any problem you are in know yourself that God is with you it's not a Hebrew story it's a living word of God 
The Lord is with his people. God is with us. In whatever hard time we go through in life. In Kenya here. The, the way the tax is running faster. All the tax is going high. And everything is going to shoot again. The Lord will give you grace. I said the Lord will minister grace to you. The Lord will minister grace to you. In the midst of the storm. You shall survive. I say you shall survive. You shall survive. By the midst of the storm. The grace is coming upon you. The grace is coming upon you. Receive the grace. Receive the grace. Receive the grace. The grace, the grace to survive. The grace to survive. In the midst of the storm. You will survive. I say you will survive. No matter what happened to you. The breath of God is with you. The grace is with you. The anointing is upon you. The Holy Spirit is in you. The blood of the Lamb has protected you. The angels of God are deployed on your life. God will come into situation that fee that you are looking for that fee, school fees fee that you are looking for I command by the grace of God that door open up in the name of Jesus let that financial door open up in the name of Jesus he said nothing is too hard for me he said, I'm the God of all the flesh. Do I have a man here who has flesh? Do I have a woman who has a flesh here? He said, my name, I'm the God of all flesh. I am all sufficient. All sufficient can do anything. He will make you sufficient. In everything, I'm giving you hope. Christ in you, the hope of glory. So you know, be worried. The world is becoming to a level where you have to live by faith. And prove the lifestyle of your faith. It's not just about talking. No, no. Because talking, you will be you will be you will be put to shame. When the reality of life begins to hit your life. Huh? It's time to have a right stand. We serve a God who is with his people. A God I serve. I see him in your life. When I see you, I fear God. When I see you, not a fear God. I say, not fear God. Because he has put his image on his own creatures. Fear God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hebrews. Why Brania? Hebrews 12 verse 3. Why Brania kum nambili tatu? He said, Inasema, His word, Neno lake, holds everything, Inasikidia kila kitu, in His power. Katika nguvu zake. His word, Neno lake. And that's why I'm standing here to declare God's word. Even though you go through valleys, you climb mountains, the grace will be available to help you climb the mountains. The grace will be available. He says in Isaiah, when you go through many waters, you will not draw. For I will be with you. I 
This is the time you are going through many waters now. We are going through many waters. Now, do you know many waters, challenges of waters in the Bible stands for the testing that come from men. Unajua majimengi ama changamoto nyingi katika Biblia zinakuja kutokana na wanadamu. It is a testing, it's a sign of testing of men, chan, changamoto, the challenges of men. Ishara, ni ishara za changamoto mozo tokana na wanadamu. Men, human being. Wanadamu, wanadamu. You see what David said. Aunona Daudi alisema. He said, if not God. Anasema kama si mungu. Many waters have been thrown me. Majimengi yenge nilimeza. He talked about people. Anasema kusu watu. That if not God. Anasema kama si mungu. People would have swallowed him. Watu wange meza. Alive. Akiwa hai. That's David. If not God, and the same God I speak to you, let this God be with your, your God in your marriage, in your family, in whatever you do. He has power in His Word. In the beginning, God created heavens and earth. And in John 1 2, He said, By His Word, all things were created. So He has power. Everything in heaven and earth. He is omniscient. He knows everything. He is omnipotent. He has all powers. He's omnipresent, he's everywhere. He's not only in heaven. He's in that trouble where you are in. He's in that question you are crying and answering. The shedding of the tears on the pillow. In the midnight, nobody knows. He sees every tear. He knows every thought. Are you hearing me? So I'm encouraging you. You are not alone. In that trouble, you are not alone. Kenyans, you are not alone. Africans, you are not alone. God is with us. And he will help us. We don't turn our head or our cry to any human being. It's only God who will save our lives. His word is powerful. And I decree that word to save your life in the name of Jesus. Let his word fall upon your head, every one of you. Let as you go out of this door, may you walk out of this door with the favor of God. Walk out of this door with the favor of God. Let the Lord help you to fight and stay above your challenges. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, I'm all sufficient. I am almighty. I can do anything. And I can do everything. Jesus said in the book of John chapter 10. If you read verse 18. He says, I give my life myself. And I am able to take it back. That's Jesus himself. Nobody killed Jesus. He gave himself because of you. He know that you are about to doom for eternity days. Nobody was able to open the book. And break the seals. So the Lamb of God. Who was slain. Stood up before the Father. And he said, Father, I will go. And God looked at Jesus. And he said, You are going to be son to me. I am going to be a father to you. So God himself prophesied to himself. He said, therefore, God, you are God, is making you God above everything. How many gods do we have? One. So God is able. 
Kwa hivyo Mungu anaweza. He came and formed himself Ad, in the womb of a woman. Alikuja na kajumba kwa katika tumbo la mwanamke. Because he is all sufficient. Kwa sababu yeye ana uwezo wote. He is able to do anything. Ana uwezo kufanya chochote. He created himself in the womb of a woman. Alijumba katika tumbo ya mwanamke. He grew up as a human being. Akakuwa kama mwanadamu. Ever the creation. Ah, mombile yote. There is no day heaven open except the day when Jesus was baptized. Hakuna siku yoyote ambayo mbingu ilijifungua ila siku ambayo Yesu alikuwa. It's a sign to you. Ni ishara kwa kwa. Those of you that believe in Jesus. Ninyi ambao mnamwamini Yesu. The moment you connect with Jesus. Unapojiunganisha na Yesu. Heaven is ready to open up for every one of you. Because of Jesus. The voice that came from above. I said the voice that came from above. He said this is my son. In him I'm well pleased. Hey, in him I'm well pleased. And Jesus said I give myself. I am able to put my life down. And to pick it back to me. Are you listening? Jesus is able. To die. And to rise up himself. And that's what happened. He gave it. And he took it back. You serve a God who doesn't change. He said, My people will never be put to shame. By his power, I decree to you. If you follow him, you will never be put to shame. Follow him, you will never be put to shame. I decree to you, your children will never be put to shame. Let me announce to somebody here. It has pleased God for us to have our destiny in our hands. So that we can determine what we see tomorrow. You want to see a change tomorrow? You can determine it today. You stand up today, you issue a decree. You say, from today, I will not die like this. One day, a man who is a shopkeeper. Mutu ambaye anaduka. Hide himself. Alijificha. Because I went to borrow. Kwa sababu nilienda kukopa. One packet of unga. Nilienda kukopa pakiti moja ya unga. He hide himself. Alijificha. His wife told me. Mke waka kaniambia. He's admitted in hospital. Amelazo siptalini. And when I left the shop. Na nilipo toka hapo. In ten minutes. Adakika kumi. I send my daughter. Nikatuma binti yangu. My daughter went there and he found a man on the shop. From that day, I said, Oh God, I will never borrow food in this life. I will never borrow food. From the moment I say so, God in heaven took those words. And he said, Yes, my son. I stop this world. You will never borrow food. I decree that I will never borrow food. And God had it. And from that day, the door opened up for me. And the door that is opened up for me started small. And he entered a grace to grace, power to power, power to power, power to power. See, you can decree a change tomorrow by the way you decree today. Handle you today with care. Knowing the power of God. You will see a change tomorrow. We want to see a change in this family, in this country. We want to see a change in your marriages. We want to see a change in your ministries. We want to see business doing in better. In your life. African ladies. You are blessed. You are very strong. You can survive the sun. Doing doing things around here. Most of white people are very weak. They can't do what you are doing. African woman is very strong. They can take care of ten sons. Bring up ten children. And when they get old, ten children cannot take care of one.
grandmother. Watoto kumi wawezi mjali mama mama. May God help us. Mungu atusaidie. It's a sin. Ni dhambi. You fight with your children. Unapigana na watoto wako. Bring them up. Unawalea. Seven of them. Saba wao. This one is Nairobi. Huyu yuko Nairobi. This one is Mombasa. Yule yuko Mombasa. This one is Nakuru. Yule yuko Nakuru. This one is Eldoret. Huyu yuko Eldoret. Now the mother, now she is old. Sasa mama amezeeka. She need your help. Anahitaji msaada wako. Seven children. Watoto saba. Cannot take care one mother. Hawawezi mwangalia mama mmoja. Is a curse. Ni laana. Is a curse. Ni laana. One mother we see in Africa here, even here in Kenya. Tunaona hapa Afrika hata hapa Kenya. See women come on television they say, "Hey, I brought up my children like this. They give testimony of what is happening. How uh, wana they suffer." Wanakuja wanatoa shuhuda nasema mimi nimewalea watoto wangu hivi wanatoa shuhuda vile wanateseka. We need to see changes in our life. Tunastahili kuona mabadiliko kwa maisha. Train our people to respect our elderly people. Tuwalee tuwafundishe vijana kuheshimu watu wa Jesu. And get concerned and with your parents they will live long here and they will make it in life are you listening to me i said they will live long and they will make it in life many young people are wicked you think about yourself you don't think about your father your mother Girls, let me tell you. If you are dating a young man who doesn't remember their parents, kama umechumbiwa esikia hii na kijana mwenye hajali wazazi wake, forget. Achana naye. Forget. Achana naye. I'm a father here. I'm telling you, forget. Mimi ni baba hapa nakwambia msahau. You are dating somebody who is very dangerous. Unachukuana na mtu ambaye ni kisirani. Every one of you whether you are a daughter or a son kila mmoja wenu uwe ni binti ama uwe ni kijana open up doors in the city in urban you Ufungua. need to take care look at your mother and your father in the village ufungua milango mjini unastahili kumwangalia baba yako na mama yako kijijini some of the things you bring here for us to pray for is not demons vitu vingine ambavyo mnaleta hapa mahitaji mengine mnaleta si mapepo it's because you didn't look at them ni kwa sababu huangalia ama hukuwajali everything is possible kila kitu kinawezekana and god is available to you na mungu anapatikana you make your blessing atakufanya kuwa baraka to your people ah kwa watu wako but don't forget ah uh, usisahau your people ah uh, watu wako ama watu wako these girls when they marry a man kuna hawa wasichana wakionewa na mtu they don't want the man to look at their parents hawataki huyo mwanamme kuangalia wazazi wake oh they are too old ah uh, wamezeeka sana me and you we have to start our life for our ni life ni mimi ni mimi tuanze maisha yetu maisha for your life young people for your life to be from better flourish in town ili maisha yenu watu vijana yawe mazuri kwa nchini old people in the village must be taken care of I saw a man who is a professor Nas in, in the Kenya Power and Lighting. Nasema mwanamume ambaye ni professor kwa Kenya Power and Lighting. He has worked for 30 35 years as a professor and a very big person in the Kenya Power and Lighting. Amefanya kazi kwa miaka 35 na 5 katika hiyo kampuni. Because he doesn't care his family. Lakini kwa sababu hajali familia yake. Even now as I'm talking. Hata hivi ninapoongea. He doesn't have a house. Hana nyumba. Even the Kenya the power this power hata hii hui huu moto mnaona the power so power ah hiyo hiyo miti ya moto is not in their village ah haijafikia kijiji kwao no the village is in the village but it's not in their home ah iko kwa kwa iko kijijini lakini kwao bomani haijafikia he doesn't have house hana nyumba he goes home with his prado car anaenda nyumbani na hilo gari he enter in the car in Ana, the night anaingia kwa gari analala kwa gari he switch the seat and sleep. Ana, ana kiti na na Early in the morning he rises up to come to Nairobi. Na mapema, anainuka, anakuja, Nairobi. It's a big curse. Ah, ni laana kubwa. Take care all the people in the village. It will open doors in the urban areas. Wajali wazazi wako kule kijijini watafungua milango kule. Remember them. Wakumbuke. When you remember them, you are remembering God. Unapowakumbuka unamkumbuka Mungu. Many of challenges are not demons. Changamoto nyingi si mapepo. Here in Africa when we go to prayer we fight demons. Hapa Afrika unapoanza maombi unapigana na mapepo. Most of people Pentecostal people churches are fighting demon. Demon.
demons. There is no need. A demon is a small thing under you. When you have Jesus, number one, a demon was defeated. You have authority over every demon. A demon cannot stop you to go through. Unless God permit it. Unless God permitted. You can change your life. I say you can change the life of your family. You can change your ministry. You can change your prayer life. Forget about playing games. Seek God and you find God. He's available. You can change your life. I say those who open up for you. You become an answer for your people. You become a solver of your people. I say you will become a solution. Stop playing games with your life. These things of God is about life and death. Save your life. Do not play games in the church. Commit your life to Jesus. And live for God. Serve him with humility. And love his people. You shall see heaven open for you. God will never leave you to under a shame. David said, I was young. And now I am old. I've never seen a righteous man. Eh? Over children of the righteous man begging for bread. Let me prophesy to somebody here. Your children will never beg for bread. Let me decree that word. Your children will never beg bread in the name of Jesus. May God back up that word in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, I hear you, sir. So your God can do anything and he can change any situation. All things are possible with him. Somebody shout hallelujah. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Shout hallelujah. If you are looking for a job, he will open that door. If you are starting a business, he will give you a capital. Commit yourself and do something. Money does not come because of prayer. Money comes because you are working. Do something. Follow God with instructions. The Lord will bless the work of your head. Let's worship him. I decree that the blessing will follow you. He is able to do everything. He will give you what you are looking for. He is able to change your life. And to make every grace available to you. You don't need many words. You just need the one word of God. Today, Leo, I leave you with this word. God is able to change your life. And he will help you to make a smile tomorrow. In the name of Yeshua Hamasiah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. is going to remember you. Every sickness among us here, I rebuke them by the word of God. I rebuke them in the word of God. In the name of he who died and rose again. He's available to raise you up. God is available. Let us work his work. Pray for the country. And pray for the nations. And pray for our children. And pray for the leaders. All these people they go astray because I blame the church. 
wa viongozi hawa wote wanaenda makosa kwa sababu ninalaumu kanisa. I blame the church. Ninalaumu kanisa. If you want to know I blame the church. Ukitaka kujua ninalaumu kanisa. And you want to know my stand. Na unataka kujua msimamo wangu. Bring politician here. Leta mwanasiasa hapa. Let them be worshipers here. Wacha wawe wa kuabudu mali hapa. I will not change my talk. Sitabadilisha ujumbe wangu. Whether he give a big tight. Awe anatoa fungu kubwa. I am not looking for big tights. God has already been my God. Mungu tayari amekuwa ni Mungu wetu. This church I put here 98% percent is my own pocket money. Ah pesa ambao nimeweka hapa 98% percent nimeweka hapa ni yangu mwenyewe. Around 2% percent is given with believers. Ah na 20 ni ya waamini. I say 2%. percent. Ah herufi mbili ya waamini. Is that but 98% Ni yangu mimi mwenyewe. And I give willingly. Na ninapeana nikitaka. Nimepeana kutaka. Haleluya. Nikitaka. Yes. I buy everything here myself. I don't contribute. Ninanunua kila kitu hapa si changi changi. Why? Kwa nini? I'm blessed to serve God. Ah, niko hapa kumtumikia Mungu. So you know what I'm praying for? Unajua ni nini naombea? Different churches. Makanisa tofauti. They have fake pastors. Ah, wana wachungaji ambao si wa kweli. Who don't have their heart for people. Ambao hawana moyo kwa ajili ya watu. And to serve God. Na kumtumikia Mungu. And they get a lot of committed people. Na wanapata watu wengi wenye kujitolea. Men who want to see God. Watu ambao wanataka kumuona Mungu. Men who want to see God's work. Watu ambao wanataka kuona kazi ya Mungu ikitendeka. And they put money in the ministry. Wana but unfortunately their pastors are fake. Lakini bati mbaya wachungaji wao ni fake. They get the money they build their own house, they build everything is about them. Wanachukua pesa, wanajenga nyumba zao, kila kitu inawahusu. Now here. Sasa hapa. I'm telling God. Ninamwambia Mungu. I am taking my own money. Ninachukua pesa zangu mwenyewe. Instead of building my house, I bring in a church. Badala ya kujenga nyumba yangu na leta kwa Why don't you bring men and women who are ready to see God open their lives? Kwa nini usilete very soon. God is going to bring me men and women in this place that they want to see the work of God being done in this place. And I pray that those people will be you. Those people will be you. Let that man be you. Let that woman be you. Let that brother be you. That sister be you. In the name of Jesus. Oh God. Everybody has a cry. So open up your voice. And tell him just one word. Lord you are all sufficient. And you are able. And you are able to turn everything. You don't have to shout. You can give one word and God will hear. Just pray systematically. Pray by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is available to change our life, our country, our nations of the world, to heal our land, forgive our sins, help politicians, leaders, help the religious leaders and the military and the security agents, all of them. Lord, help us. We don't want to mess up this country. Father, help this country. Bless, hear the cry of your servants. We are praying for the president, Ruto. We are praying for the, his government. All the ministers. We are praying for the governors. We are praying for 47 counties of Gawa. Lord, we are praying for the constituencies, the MP leaders, and the, 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 the court people, the military people, 
of all the security agents. We as Kenyans, we don't have any help. Even economy is going hard. Things are becoming south to a hustler. Lord, we pray. You are the key of a hustler. You are the one that can solve the problem of a hustler. We have so many promises. Sweet saying. Eloquent men. Good orators. People who speak in, in societies. And they have influence to make people listen to them. But their words are not interpreted words. They don't speak stand. They change when they are sent to power. Oh God. Help our country. So that you can rectify anything. Even the church. Many churches have compromised. It is our prayer Lord. Make us ministers who are humble. Who can love. Make minister who can love God. Let the church leaders humble. The church leaders forsake pride. Let us keep the fear of God. As we lead people's flock, God's flocks. In the name of Jesus. All the leaders in every position in this country. All the senates. Oh Lord, help them. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for the schools. We pray for hostels. We pray that you recover the sick people. Use doctors to help our people. Use teachers to train our children. In the name of Jesus. Father, I come back to church. I pray for your people. Even in this place. Any man that is believing anything. In the name of Jesus. I command that door open up. Let the blessing follow the man. Whatever they are looking for. Let them grab it in the name of Jesus. I release a blessing over their lives. Let the prophetic agenda of the kingdom of God be manifested in their lives. In the name of Yeshua Hamasia, the name above every other name. They glorify in their life, in their marriages, in their family, in their children. Let not their children be forsaken. As their parents serve you, remember their children. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Asante Baba. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Asante yes. Thank you, Lord. Asante Buana. Thank you, Lord. Let's sing that song. Thank you, Lord. You, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want. Sing thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just tell him thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you. I just want to thank you. Just want to thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Him. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you. I just want to thank you. I just.
Nisamehe dambi zangu zote Yafute makosa yangu Liandike jina langu Katika kitabu cha uzima Cha mwana kondo wa mungu Yafute majina yangu Katika kitabu cha mauti Na hukumu ya milele Yafute majina yangu Kutoka katika vitabu Vya kuhangaika Kushinwa Kulemewa Kuchanganyikiwa Kutofanikiwa Ya ondoe hayo majina Ya maisha yangu Ya fute hayo majina Kutoka Katika kitabu Cha watu walio maskini Vunja roo Ya ufukara Umaskini Lana Mikosi Masumbufu ya maisha Visirani Niondole 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 Kwa jina la yesu Yafute makosa Na mashtaka Yalio mbele yangu Yaneo zoia Kila mlango mzuri Unapofunguka Siwezi kuingia Hayo mashtaka Kwa damu ya yesu Yafutwe Yafutwe Yaondolewe Yaondolewe Mashtaka yote Ambayo Iko katika Iyo file Iliyo bebwa Na mushtaki wangu Adui wangu Leo Na murisha Kwa jina la yesu Majeshi wa mungu Malaika wabwana Wakakimbizane Na dui wangu Alia na faili yangu Ya mashtaka Iyo file Aka mnyanganye Na kama atashindwa Ninamurisha Ninatuma Moto Ukateketeze Iyo file Katika mikone ya dui Kwa jina la yesu Kwa jina la yesu Hiyo faili ya mashtaka Ika kamate moto Ika kamate moto Ika kamate moto Faili ya mashtaka Ika kamate moto Ika tekete Kwa jina la yesu Ya Kila mashtaka Ambayo umekewa Inafanya usiende mbele Katika maisha Ika kamate moto Yondolewe Maana Yesu alipigilia mashtaka yako pale msalabani Na kwa damu yake akafuta mandishi yote Sasa we uko huru ukaisabiwa haki Uko huru ukaisabiwa haki Kwa hivyo mimi kama mjoli wabwana Na simama kwa hivyo madabahu ni kutangaze Haki ya Yesu ya mue katika maisha yako Haki ya Yesu ya mue katika ndoa yako Haki ya Yesu itangaze katika jumba yako Na tangaza haki ya Yesu ya mue na itawale katika kila maeneo ya maisha unayotenu 
katika jina la Yesu na kutangazia amani ya Kristo na kutangazia kufanikiwa kwa Mungu na kutangazia neema ya Bwana itembee na wewe mchana wa leo wale watu walio kukataa wa kukubali wale walio kusengenya watafute namba yako tena uwe wa baraka kwa maisha ya watu uwe wa baraka kwa maisha ya watu uwe wa baraka kwa maisha wako kwa jina la Yesu kazi ambayo unaitafuta ikafunguke kwa ajili yako milango yako hiyo wazi utakapofunguliwa milango ya kazi usisahau madabau haya Mungu akukumbuke mchana wa leo akufungulie kibali na faida maisha yako asiaibike uishi miaka mingi wa mzee uende kaburini ukitaka ufe ukicheka ufe na amani ufe miaka yako ikifikia may you die when your time comes may you die at bible appointed time any demon that is plotting to take your life i command that demon die in the name of jesus now know kila people la mauti kila roho ya mauti ambayo unaweza tumiwa na watu au unaweza pangiwa na watu kabla wakati wako nimeshika mateka ya urogi na wa uchawi wala ambao wanaita majina yako kwa nyungu za wachawi nimeshika mateka hiyo majina na iondoa hiyo picha yako katika meza ya waganga na wachawi katika jina la Yesu na kutangazia amani ya Yesu na kutangazia uzima na kutangazia baraka za Bwana siambatane pamoja nawe mali popote utaenda watu wakukubali Thank you Lord. I decree a blessing over your life. May the Lord favor you all. It shall be well with you. I command this week to dance your rhythm. Hii wiki kacheze wimbo wako. Hii wiki ukuletee mema. Kila maovu katika wiki nzima iliyo mbele yako nimeondoa. Nimeondoa. Watu wa kora na waongo ambao wamepangwa kukutana na wewe wiki hii nimeshika mateka njia zao na geuzo wapita njia ingine unapopita njia ingine malaika washikilia maisha yako wakulinde wakuokoe na wateja na manyang'anyi na wakora na majambazi na magangsta wote wa kiroho na wa kimwili ndoto chafu ambazo unatumiwa za mashetani toka funjika sisiwe na uwezo kila maro mabaya ya ajali ambao watu wanakutumia i hereby cancel them by the authority the blood of the lamb Father, favor the cause of your people. Favor the cause of your people. In the mighty name of Jesus, I release a blessing over your life all. Oh, hallelujah.